So dear students, today the next one lecture about diseases of the jaw bones and bones of the facial skeleton, cleft lips and palate, inflammatory lesions of the jaw bones, pyrostitis, ostitis, osteomyelitis, tumor-like idiopathic and hereditary diseases of the jaw bone, non-odontogenic uh, non uh, cysts of the jaw. Okay, let's start. Congenital malformation can be defined as the structural or functional abnormalities that occur during intrauterine development and can be detected before birth, during birth, or later in life. A congenital malformation of the maxillofacial region occurs in approximately 1 in 700 newborns. The most severe abnormalities in the development of maxillofacial region occur at 4-8 weeks of embryonic development. Congenital malformation of the maxillofacial region is a cleft facial defects, congenital fistulas and cystic formations, uh, defects and uh, deformities of the nose, ears, jaw bones, tongue, congenital tumor. The cause of the formation of the cleft lips is a violation of the fusion of the medial nasal processes with the maxillary processes. Likewise, disruption of the formation and fusion of the palatine protuberance results in palate clefts. In about 45% of cases, there is a combination of the cleft lip and a cleft of the heart palate. An isolated uh, cleft lip occur in 25% uh, cleft palate in 30%. It is necessary to distinguish isolated cleft from clefts which are an integral part of the specific syndromes. Uh, classification signs of the cleft. It's a cleft lip, heart palate, soft palate, uh, uvula, and uh, or alveolar reach in various combinations, uh, hidden or uh, complete or incomplete, uh, bilateral, one side or medium, uh, the degree of uh, decompensation of the close uh, of the palatine pharyngeal valve. Craniofacial uh, connected uh, syndromes are uh, Cruzon syndrome, uh, Perot syndrome, uh, Pfeiffer syndrome, Pierre Robin syndrome, uh, Twitcher Collins syndrome. The syndromes were discussed in detail in previous lectures. Uh, a feature of the jaw bones in comparison with uh, other bones is the presence of the teeth. The nature to which is cause of contact spread of infection, the most common cause of inflammatory lesions of the jaws. Inflammation of the periosteum of the alveolar alcohol processes less often the body of the upper or lower jaw in infectious or traumatic uh, genesis. Etiology of uh, periostitis is maybe a uh, dontogenic, dermatogenous, lymphogenous or traumatic. Well, let's talk about acute periostitis. Acute serous periostitis of the jaw is accompanied by inflammation of the periosteum and the accumulation in the inflammatory focus of the moderate of a moderate amount of serous exudate. Acute purulent periostitis of the jaw of flux pulses with the formation of a limited subperiosteal abscesses, the formation of fistulas. Uh, through which pass uh, flow out. Chronic periostitis uh, of the jaw is characterized uh, by a sludgy, a sludgy uh, infection, uh, infectious and inflammatory processes uh, in the periosteum accompanied by the formation of young bone tissue on the surface of the jaw bones. If in case of single periostitis of the jaw, the processes of neoplasm uh, of bone tissue is reversible uh, when uh, then with uh, ossifying, ossification and hyperostosis rapidly progresses. Uh, by the degree uh, of uh, distribution it can be uh, limited in area of the one or zero teeth uh, and diffuse uh, covering almost the entire jaw. 
pure perostatis. Uh, complication of the uh, perostatis is uh, osteomyelitis, phlegmon, or sepsis. Infection of, jaw, of the jaw due to its unique feature, bearing teeth and connecting uh, to the oral cavity, oral in the environment with the periodontal membrane. Uh, differs uh, in several important aspects from osteomyelitis of uh, long bones. The specific local immunological and microbiological aspects determine a major factor in the etiology or and pathogenesis of the disease and hence uh, also have a direct impact on its treatment. Therefore, to explore, um, extrapolate uh, from long bone infection uh, to disease of the jaw has limitations. This is um, reflected by the long-standing uh, recognition of estimulitis of the jaw bones as a clinical entity uh, which differs in many important aspects from that in long bones. Hence, a wide variety of classification uh, specifically for the jaw bones have been established. Classification are based, uh, classifications are based on um, different aspects such as uh, clinical course, uh, pathological, anatomical or radiological features, etiology and pathogenesis. A mixture of this classification system is often used leading uh, to confusion, uh, hiring uh, com comparative studies and uh, obscuring classification criteria. The Zurich system of osteomyelitis is generally accepted as the most reliable classification for osteomyelitis. Classification is um, primarily based on clinical course uh, and imaging. The Zurich classification system of osteomyelitis is uh, primarily based on, uh, on clinical course and mm -hmm. imaging, as I said previously. Uh, uh, this topology is uh, considered a secondary classification criterion uh, because finding uh, 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 mostly unspecific and uh, when considered by themselves. However, tissue examination of bi biopsies are uh, irreplaceable to confirm the diagnosis in case of unclear and atypical clinical and radiological appearance and to exclude possible differential diagnosis. The three major classifications are uh, acute osteomyelitis, uh, secondary chronic osteomyelitis, and primary chronic osteomyelitis. So here it is, uh, the cause of the most common bacteria, bacterial species. Primary chronic osteomyelitis of the jaw is rare, non superative chronic inflammatory disease of unknown etiology. Age uh, at onset of symptoms uh, demonstrated two incident peaks, as you see. Pain, local swelling, and limited mouth opening were uh, uh, notized as uh, recurrent episodes uh, and were the predominant clinical symptoms. The, the, the distribution of the primary chronic uh, osteomyelitis of the jaw demonstrated uh, an almost exclusive uh, involvement of the mandible. Uh, any part of the mandible. Uh, in only one key, the zygomatic arc showed pathological changes uh, in addition to the affected mandible. Uh, all patients with primary chronic osteomyelitis underwent extensive imaging during the investigation, including conventional radiograph and computerized uh, tomographic scans in most cases. Postal sclerosis was the most striking pattern seen in all patients in variable degree. Uh, however, sclerosis was more predominant in adult cases. Signs of chronic inflammation and increased bone uh, resorption and uh, deposition of various degree were observed. Microabscesses formation is a histological sign of active disease which, which correlate with the uh, with, uh, with the mixed appearance in diagnostic imaging. Uh, as a few the sign of disease activity, excessive bone resorption and uh, superior still bone dis uh, deposition was noted more often in younger individuals uh, and in an early stage of the disease. 
Medieval fibrosis and osteal and, uh, and, and osteal bone uh, position with the characteristic paget like appearance you noted as benign. Uh, Morphodon might be dominant in the elder patient uh, and in advanced disease stages. Here is the lower and high magnification uh, showing a thick -knit bone tubercle uh, surrounded by mild to moderate marrow fibrosis. Acute osteomyelitis arising in the a setting of PCO, uh, you can see a uh, low, uh, it's a uh, picture number C, mm -hmm. number C. Magnification show acute inflammatory processes with bone uh, destruction. High magnification is picture D, showing numerous acute and chronic inflammatory cells with scattered and multi nucleated giant cells. Primary chronic osteomyelitis. Uh, here you can see sclerotic bone with multiple irregular lines of mineralization giving rise to a digitoid appearance. The variety treatment uh, of, for PCO reflects a lack, a lack of uh, understanding of the etiology of the disease. The following uh, is a list of variable tumor modalities. Uh, first of all, it's non-surgical antibiotic steroids, uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, uh, B-phosphonate uh, treatment, and muscle relaxation. And second one is surgical decortication alone, decortication with bone grafting, partial marginal resection, and segmental resection of the bone. Secondary chronic osteomyelitis, or SCO, often referred in the literature as chronic superior osteomyelitis, is characterized by the presence of pus, fistula, and or uh, sequestration. SCO is usually caused by bacterial inv invasion uh, from a well-defined etiology such as trauma or surgery or to the mandible. Acute and the SCO uh, of the mandible respond to the same disease at a different stage, sharing the same etiology. When comparing PCO and SCO, the following features can be distinguished. Well, first of all, its PCO is characterized by a longer clinical course. Second one, uh, sclerosis is more pronounced with PCO. Uh, it can be assessed radiographically. Uh, bone hypertrophy is more pronounced in PCO than, as, than in SCO. Uh, on this surgical examination, the phenomena of fibrosis is more pronounced in PCO. This surgical feature of acute and chronic stimulitis exists in the same lesions. Gimtoxylin uh, and elzin stained paraffin embedded decalcifying sections of the um, and Infected uh, metatarsal bone resected from a patient with diabetic foot ulcer is shown. Illustrating <coughs> salient feature of uh, both acute and chronic stimulatis in the same bone. Uh, picture A. It's a lower power mi microphotograph uh, of the lesion in which most of the trabecular has been destroyed and replaced by an acute inflammatory reaction consisting of uh, neutrophils and fibrovascular granulation tissue. It's a black arrow on the picture. A region of chronic inflammation showing new bone formation and replacement of a normal bone marrow with fibrovascular inflammatory tissue. Acute superative osteomyelitis. It's an early phase, uh, phase of osteomyelitis, usually, usually superative or pus forming. Exceeds <coughs> when an um, acute inflammatory uh, process moves away from the site of initial infection and spreads through the medullary spaces of the bone, and in most cases, um, is sufficient uh, time has passed. Uh, for the body react uh, to the um, presence of inflammatory infiltrate. Acute phase uh, may lead to, to the chronic phase, uh, which has been uh, arbitral, uh, arbitrarily defined as an uh, osseous infection listing at least one month. Uh, it's a pathological examination of bone species uh, coupled with bone culture in uh, 
are considered the gold standard uh, for the diagnosis of steostromyelitis. Uh, uh, let's talk about microscopic histological uh, description. The neutrophils uh, may persist for weeks. Lymphocytes and plasma cells with bone necrosis and reactive neural formation. Uh, you can see capillary proliferation and fibrosis. Uh, subtypes include plasma cell osteomyelitis and centigranulomatose osteomyelitis, which are abundant for macrophages. Bone marrow space is replaced by, uh, by inflammatory tissue. <clears throat> Mm, Gare osteomyelitis, which was uh, first described by Carl Gare in uh, uh, 1893, is a chronic, uh, non supportive uh, sclerotic bone inflammation characterized by a rapidly bony swelling at the periphery of the jaws. Also, uh, it is sometimes idiopathic. It is known that uh, moderate infections such as uh, dental decay periodontal disease or soft tissue disease, uh, starting from the uh, spongious layer um, uh, of the jaw and extending into the periosteum is the result of uh, stimulating bone formation. However, in, all, in order for this uh, pathological condition to occur, the balance between the viral and bacterial and oral flora must be impaired. Uh, while the periosteal uh, osteoblastic activity uh, must also be high. Histological examination uh, showed new bone formation with periosteal reactivity. On the surface uh, of the dense bone, the new bone tubercle were uh, perpendicular to the bone for surface and were uh, arranged in parallel and surrounded by osteoblasts. The intertrabecular bone space was filled with fibrous connective tissue with scattered lymphocytes and plasma cell infiltrates. Localized, localized area of radiographic bone sclerosis associated with uh, um, epithesis of inflamed, dead, or dying teeth. We can, uh, called, we, we can say it's uh, palpitis uh, or uh, palpal necrosis. The association is an area of inflammation, usually the apex of uh, an associated tooth, tooth is critical because these lesions can uh, resemble several other uh, interbony processes that produce uh, somewhat similar radiographic patterns. The secondary sclerosis of bone is not considered a true or classical osteomyelitis. Uh, possible uh, osteoblastic response uh, causing secondary sclerosis in response to uh, uh, low-grade inflammatory stimulus or from, in, uh, from an inflamed dental pulp. The classic alteration consists of uh, localized, usually a uniform zone of increased radio density adjusting to the apex of the tooth. Uh, well, micro description of the bone lesions. Uh, first of all, it's replacement of marrow spaces and uh, cancellous bone by dense sclerotic uh, compact bone. Uh, bone may show prominent uh, intercemental lines. Uh, may see fibrosis replacing fatty marrow or, or scat connective tissue. Usually no or minimal inflammation here. Um, uh, micro description of bone lesions. Uh, uh, when we talk about congenital osteitis, there are replacement of marrow species and uh, cancellous bone by dense sclerotic compact bone. Bone may show prominent in, uh, intercemental lines we talked about for, uh, earlier. And we can see here uh, uh, fibrosis replacing fatty marrow, uh, it's very good picture on your screens. Um, usually no uh, information here. The lack of standardized, standardized uh, definition and subjective clinical criteria challenging precise rep uh, reporting of its frequency. 
uh, reported range of uh, all 5 to 5 percent for routine dental, uh, dental extraction and after 37 after removal of mandibular third molars. Uh, pathophysiology after extraction of the tooth uh, blood uh, clot is formed at the extraction site, extraction site, uh, site with eventual organizing of the clot by granulation tissue and gradual replacement by bone. Destruction of the initial clot is uh, thought to delay the um, uh, aforementioned uh, aforming additional series of steps required for um, um, even for extraction site hidden and lead to a clinical condition known as uh, alveolar osteitis. Closed plot is uh, lost secondary to transformation of plasminogen to plasmin uh, with uh, subsequent leases of fibrin and formation of kilins which are potent in pain mediated. Microscopic uh, description are uh, uncommon to have a surgical specimen uh, because the procedure is uh, is uh, um, debridement uh, of uh, removal uh, of the residual clot. If material is uh, submitted, may be uh, composed of inflammatory cell infiltrate with numerous pedicides and giant cells in the uh, remaining clot. Uh, viable and non viable bone fragments. Uh, fibrose dysplasia is a skeletal abnormality in which normal bone is replaced and uh, distorted by poorly organized uh, and uh, inadequately mineralized uh, immature bone and fibrose tissue. It may involve a single bone, we can talk, uh, we can say that it is monoostic, FD or multiple bones, uh, so it's called polyrostic FD. A localization, the craniofacts of bones and the femur are the more, two most common sites of bone monoostic or polyrostic FDs. Epidemiology uh, account for approximately 7% of all benign bone tumors. FD is caused by a polyzygotic activating missing mutation in the GNAS gene. The lesion consists of fibrotic and osseous tissue in varying proportion depending on the disease stage. The fibrosis connective to fibrosis tissue consists of bland fibrotic, fibroblastic cells. Mitotic figures, uh, figures are uncommon. The osseous tissue is composite of irregularly shaped trabecula of immature woven bone without osteoblastic ring. These trabecula often uh, assume a curvilinear form, uh, which have been linked to the Chinese uh, characters and appearance. The original bones. Uh, fuses with the adjusted normal bone. Like FD in long bones, uh, craniofacial cranio uh, lesions uh, may undergo processive maturation to lamellar bone. Uh, cementa osseous dysplasia is a non neoplastic fibro osseous lesion of the tooth bearing region of the netted bones. Localization COD uh, occur uh, exclusively in the tooth bearing regions of the jaw. It uh, has uh, traditionally been divided into three variants. Uh, uh, Periapical COD is associated with the apical areas of mandibular anterior teeth uh, focal SOD is associated with a single tooth, and fluorid COD has a multifocal uh, involvement. COD is the most common benign fiber osseous lesion of the jaw. There is a strong predilection uh, for 
um, middle aged black woman and age adjusted to a prevalence rate of five and five, five person uh, among black females has been reported. This is a pathology. All the variants of COD have an, uh, uh, the same microscopic features, characterized by a, a variable cellular fibrostroma with areas of swirling and of loose collagen. Within the strom, a mineralized tissue consisting of osteoid bone and cementum-like material. As the vision nature, uh, materials, uh, they become incre increasingly calcified. Dense hypercellular uh, sclerotic masses may form, especially in four COD, osteoblastic rimming in the general layer. The vascularity is pronounced, the result uh, in free blood within biopsies, biopsy, uh, biopsied uh, species. Ossifying fibromas. Uh, ossifying fibromas are benign fibro fibrosus neoplasm affecting the jaws and the craniofacial skeleton. Uh, there are three clinical pathological mm -hmm. variants that have been identified are uh, ossifying fibroma of odontogenic origin, also called cement ossifying fibroma COF. And two distinct uh, juvenile ossifying fibromas. First of all, it's a juvenile trabecular ossifying fibroma, JTOF, and juvenile psamomatoid ossifying fibroma, JTOF. COF occurs exclusively in the two burial areas of the mandible or maxilla. The mandible is far more commonly involved than the maxilla. COF is well defined and may be encapsulated. It is composed of uh, hypercellular fibroblastic stroma mm -hmm. containing variable, variable amount of calcified structures. The stroma cells have uh, hyperchromatic nuclei, uh, but no marked ATP. Mitosis is uh, not easily found. The calcified structures are composed of a variable amount of osteoid or bone and lobulated basophilic masses of cementum-like tissue. The ratio of bone and cementum-like tissue varies from lesion to lesion. Osteoblastic ringing of the bone tubercle is evident usually. GDRF is un unencapsulated, but nevertheless may maintains a well defined in borders. It has a characteristic close uh, uh, so, sorry it has a characteristic loose uh, architecture with hypercellular stroma composed of spin spindle cells with uh, little collagen production. Osteoid, osteoid develops directly from the fibrous stroma and uh, forms long uh, slender uh, uh, strands uh, that have been linked uh, to paint brush uh, strokes. A regular mineralization takes place in the center of the strands resulting in the production of immature bone trabecula uh, that are devoid of osteoblastic rimming and chernobylans of maturation. JPRF is unencapsulated and is characterized by multiple small uniform or cycles of psamomotoid bodies embedded in cellular stroma composed of spindled and stellate cells. The psamomotoid bodies are, bas are basophilic and bear some re uh, resemblance of dental cementum. At the periphery of the lesions, these uh, structures may um, coalesce to this uh, and form bone trabecular. Uh, cystic degeneration and aneurysmal bone cyst formations may occur in some cases. Osteoporosis. Uh, residual, uh, I'll talk about definition, it's a reduction, reduction uh, in bone mass due to increased bone. Uh, porosity, which uh, predisposes bone to fracture. 
usually they refers to postmenopause or senile loss of bone severe enough to cause fractures. Uh, affects entire skeleton due to metabolic bone diseases but may be localized due to lymph uh, disease. Uh, usually uh, due to increased bone resorption with normal level of bone formation. Radiogra radiographic measurement of bone density, uh, either crest, uh, biopsy, it's a very good kind of diagnostic. Uh, microscopic or histological description. Uh, we can you see here a thin trabecular uh, disconnected from each other. Increase in osteoclastic activity may be uneven or increase the percentage of surface uh, with uh, resorptive uh, pitting. PD is a uh, pigeon disease or PD is a uh, uh, condition involving cellular uh, uh, remodeling uh, and uh, deformity of one or more bones. Uh, the affected bones show signs of uh, dysregulated bone remodeling uh, at the microscopic level. level. Uh, specifically, excessive bone uh, breakdown and uh, subsequent disorganized new bone formation. Uh, diagnosed, diagnostic feature are uh, increased osteoclastic and osteoblastic activity with uh, supportive radiographic radiological findings. Uh, acute uh, PD, we can see here, prim prim primarily uh, woven uh, bone, a focal mosaic, mosaic uh, pattern of a laminar bone resembles uh, puzzle these uh, prominent radial cement lines are place present as, uh, at surface of bone, but don't you know. In osteolytic phase, osteoclasts may have uh, up to 100 nuclei. In chronic phase, uh, thick trabecular, uh, thicker bones, uh, fine fibrosis of marrow we can see. Uh, central giant cell granuloma or CGCG uh, is uh, characterized, is, is localized, uh, benign but sometimes aggressive uh, osteolytic lesion of the jaw characterized by osteoclast type giant cells in the vascular stroma. The lesions are more frequent uh, in the anterior jaws, in particular the mandible. CGCGs are uh, generally present as a slow growing, asymptomatic, expensive, well defined, defined into radiolucences without tooth uh, resorption. Most of these lesions uh, have no genetic association, but in minority cases arise in patients with germline mutations in the genes and coding specific protein genes of the RAS and APK pathway. Uh, uh, CG uh, is uh, characterized by an unencapsulated un uh, proliferation of mononuclear spindle shaped and original cells with osteoclast type multinucleated giant cells in the vascular background with hemorrhage and genocytoline pigment. The region uh, may have a lobular uh, architecture separated by fibrous septor with osteoid and uh, woven bone. Uh, other giant cell lesions of these similar features uh, must be excluded. Well, thank you very much. That's all. Have a good time.